Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. And hey, I really, 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 really thank you for all the subscribers. Um, really appreciate it. it. Means a lot to me. It really does. And hey, if you guys like the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I made it real easy for you down in the bottom corner. About right there somewhere. There's a little uh, icon. Click it. Subscription thing comes up. Click that. And you're there. Doesn't work on a smart TV though. Why? I don't know. It just don't. Maybe because there's no place to click on. So anyways. So hey, you know, this morning we wake up. Wife says, did you know it snowed outside? And I thought, oh, did it really? That's horrible. I'm not a winter guy. I just, I thought spring was coming. I thought summer's on its way. I mean, the trees are budding. It's raining. The ditch is overflowing. It's flooding everywhere. Come on. I'm thinking, be patient. Be patient, my son. Summer's coming. So she says, you want to go to Hobby Lobby today? Sure. Yeah, we'll go there. They sell model kits. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. No, we both like going there. Anyways, uh, we're on our way there. And she says, you know, you need to be a little more diverse in your your models, you know, in your videos and stuff. And she says, you know, not everybody likes just Ford kits. You need to do something else, too. And I thought... Well, you know, you're right. You know what? No, I get that. And I says, I, I got some GMs and some Mopars in my stash here. I says, you know, I, I like all car companies. I like them all. I mean, everybody builds some pretty cool stuff. I don't care what brand it is. Everybody's got something really neat out there. And, um, you know, we were just a Ford family growing up. It's just the way it was, you know. Dad drove Fords. Grandpa drove Fords. Great, great grandpa drove Fords. Great, great, great grandpa. Well... I don't know. He he might have been on horseback, you know. It's just he might have been riding old trigger, you know. Get on, boy. You know, I don't know with a chuck wagon on the back. I, maybe I don't know. Maybe he's driving. I I guess I don't know. Maybe it wasn't trigger. Could have been uh, Edward or Thurman or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, we made it to Hobby Lobby, and uh, do we get there? All kits were forty percent off. I thought. Awesome. I love it when I see that. I love it when Hobby Lobby has the, the big sale. I mean, because there's no hobby shops around me anyways. I mean, they're because we were going to go to Detroit today and make a trip and visit a few of them. We thought, man, this weather's kind of crappy. I don't want to drive in it. So anyways, I picked up three kits. Uh, they're a pretty good price. Like I say, with that percentage off, I mean, I got three kits and I mean, they were like 50 some bucks for the three. I thought that's awesome. And I uh, picked up a couple uh, GM kits and a Mopar today. So we're working on it. Didn't get no force today, so we did good. Did good. And uh, so other than that, I'll show you what I've got here in a few minutes. But uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I've been watching a lot of guys' channels. And i tell you what. You guys put up some really good content. You guys put some really good information out there. Uh, I just love watching some of these things. I mean, you learn so much watching videos. It's amazing. I mean, my wife and I, we both sit and watch them. She watches them just as much as I do, maybe more. She'll, you know, certain channels we watch, she's like, hey, our guy's on, you know, whatever. I think like, that's cool. And uh, we'll sit and watch them. And, and it's just so cool, the modeling community and the things you learn out there. Um, don't matter what they're being built or what's being done or whatever. It's just the tips and tricks and the even the products and different things you, you didn't know was out there. Um that's, that's just how you learn. Like like the MCW paint. I just learned about that stuff. And I found it. And I, I've been using it. I love it. It's great stuff. Now that's all I've been buying. And um, it's just, that's just how it goes. And I tell you what, I really appreciate all you guys that's YouTube content, you know, that uploads all your stuff. Awesome. I mean, just, it's really cool. It's just, I appreciate you guys doing it. You know, just keep up the good work, you guys. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'll show you what I got, and uh, we'll go from there. Two seconds. Okay, guys. So, first kit on the shelf today, the old Pontiac 67 GTO. Dude, this kit was $22.99. Can you believe that? And 18% off. So, this was a steal. Steal a deal. Um, I like this old Pontiac body style. It's just, I love that body style. I mean, just, that is classic. I mean, that's... That 60s muscle right there. Love it, love it. Uh, back in the day, my aunt and uncle had a 69 
two-door Pontiac Ventura. Bright red, white interior, Pontiac 400. Uh, just awesome car. I, I was just fell in love with that car when I was a kid. And he bought it brand new, and he had it until it pretty much rotted away. So he's always tried to find another one, but they're just impossible to find. Very cool. I love the Pontiac rallies on this thing. Um, I always thought Pontiac had the coolest looking rallies out of the gang. Um, they're just missing the little PMD logo in there for the Pontiac Motor Division. But I'm sure we can make something happen. So that was a very cool kit. I saw that and I thought, man, that was cool. Very cool, very cool. Next kit. Uh, and these kits, like I said, I've never had these before. 71 Duster. 340. 340 liters of madness. This is the coolest thing right here, guys. Pad printed tires. I just love that. I love that they do that. Um, very cool kit. AMT. Round 2 re-release. Um, you know, it's, it's funny. Round 2 never puts their the date of the kit on the box anymore. What's up with that? I mean, obviously it's re-released through Round 2. You know, maybe they're thinking, hey, we re-released it. Just live with it, okay? It's out there. Buy it. It's whatever. I like it. It's a cool kit. This one's $29.99 still. Uh, the 40 off, I think that's what, I'm not a, uh, what, 18, 19 dollars, something like that. So, awesome price, I mean, awesome price. Not sure what color this one's going to be yet. Um, I do like the green, what is that, Go Man Green or something like that? I don't, I don't remember the colors, they had a lot of crazy colors back in the day. Um, I remember a guy in town when I was a kid, he had a, I think it was like the year past this one, but he had a, an RT. I remember it had the RT um, on the back, and it was a burgundy uh, with the black decals. And I thought, dude, that was a pretty cool looking car. I think he was rocking the 318 because, you know, back in the late 70s, you know, oh my goodness, he put a big engine in it. So, anyways, so last kid I picked up, everybody has one of these. I never had one. 69 Camaro Z28 RS. I'd like to have the SS. I like to have, what was it, the earlier version that had the, the open headlights on, just the two round headlights? Um, that's the kit I really like to get, but like I say, for the, for the price of it, I could not pass it up. Um, you know, I've, I've always liked the Camaro, especially the Gen 1 Camaros. I thought they were very cool looking. Um, this kit looks sweet in black. I mean, this car looks very cool in black. Uh, I remember back in the day seeing tons of them always just out and about. Um, like I say, I don't care what, I don't care what brand of car it is back in the day. Everybody made cool muscle cars back in the muscle car era it doesn't matter what brand it is what flavor engine i thought they were all pretty cool um just very cool so definitely going to build this up um i see there's no white light tires i don't know if it's something i can paint because that would look sweet and those it's got the chevy rallies on it which is cool um so yeah so we're gonna do that one up so get this my old buddy ron stopped over a while back and he brought me this old kit and he says are you interested in this and i thought you know what it's cool. I don't know if I'd ever put it together, but just for the nostalgic of the box, I would keep it. Check that out. 69 cents. Really? I mean, when was that? Net cool looking. Still in the plastic. Allison Engine Aircraft V12. Instructions on the back. That is so cool. Let's see if I can get this in the frame for you. I mean, just how neat is that? So... This guy was telling me, um, that brought this to me, he says, Yep, I used to build all these uh, old nostalgic model kits back in the day. And, well, they weren't nostalgic back when he was putting them together, obviously. But uh, he said he'd, he'd mock up these cars and make them into dragsters and stuff like that. So he'd buy these in multiple packs. And he'd use these kits and put these V12s in them, made drag cars out of them and all kinds of cool things. So, so the, yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'll probably never use it. It'll probably just go on a shelf. And that's as far as I'll go, but very, very cool. I thought, sweet. I I really appreciated this thing. This was really neat. So anyways, guys, that is my show and tell for today. Um, my Hobby Lobby run. And uh, it's like I say, we're probably going to start putting these in the queue somewhere and go from there. So, yep, get them all in the picture here. Probably not going to happen. Anyways. So, once again, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in and sticking around. I, I'm sometimes long-winded. I'm sorry. I just, I guess I'll just like to talk. But anyways, uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, hey, like I said before, hit that subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up and throw me some comments. I like commenting people back. So, it's 
you know the community's cool i like uh, interacting with everybody so so once again i appreciate it and you guys stay good and have a blessed day and we will see you the next time around have a good one